Hey guys, I've got you up super close so that I can do a full, like a spicy berry type makeup tutorial. Um, I just got out of the shower, so please look over the hair. I've just got it pulled back in the smallest ponytail known to um, humankind. And I have moisturized my face. Today I use the Estee Lauder Revitalizing Supreme Plus Global Anti-Aging Cell Power Cream. I need all the anti-aging anything that I can get in my life. Um, I'm going to be using this a lot too. It is the color cleaner. It's for your makeup brushes to spot clean in between. Um, and it's amazing. Like I can go from a black and then do a brow bound highlight with the same brush in three seconds. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and jump right in and get started. The first thing I do because I have oily skin is I've been using this uh, CoverGirl True Blend Face Primer for oily skin. And I only use this down the T-zone area. I get so oily around my nose, it's ridiculous. Sorry about shaking the camera. I am... Um, I have a very small workspace right now. So if you notice, I'm just putting it down the center of my face, concentrating that down the center of my face. And then what I like to do is go in with the Dr. Brandt Pores No More Luminizer Primer to give some of that uh, glowiness back because I like to use a um, more of a matte, semi-matte foundation. So this just puts a little bit more life back into your skin. I got this in the summer Fab Fit Fun box. I love everything I get always. I even put this on my eyes because why not? Just rubbing it in really, really good, really thorough. Okay. Next up, I'm going to go in with, um, actually, you know what? I'm going to do my eyes first. Sometimes I do my eyes first. Sometimes I do um, my full face foundation and everything. But since I'm going to do sort of a dark eye, I don't want to have to deal with fallout so much. So I'm going to do um, my eyes first. Now, I normally don't use an eye primer at all. Every now and then I will just to try one out if I get one or whatever. But I normally just put on, just use concealer because as you can see, I've got some pretty dark things going on. And it looks like I got some residual glue going on from my lashes yesterday. But I'm going to go back in with more lashes as it turns out. So I've been using this Age Rewind by Maybelline, Age Rewind um, Dark Cor Correction Concealer, and if it's going to focus, I don't know. There you go. Fair. Anything fair is my jam. And to be honest, I'm filming this on my, on my camera, I mean my, my phone. So if I keep looking that direction, it's just because I'm trying to see myself and what I'm actually doing because I'm not really using a mirror. I will here real shortly. Um, so please forgive me. I'm going to go in with just a, a um, my nude beauty blender that I got in my box. I'm going to wet it with some Max Fix Plus. I am almost out. I'm going to have to make a trip or order it online, which is what I normally do everything well with the exception of mac products i've been getting those at either at the mac counter in macy's usually at the mall um i made friends with one of the makeup artists there and he's so sweet and nice and of course talks me into buying all kinds of stuff that i don't need but at that moment i feel like i need them anyway so just to set my eyes so the eyeshadow won't skip, I'm just going to go in with the Too Faced Natural Matte Palette in the um, 
color Heaven, just to kind of tap that down and get it, um, like I said, where it won't skip so much. I'm just going to go in with this Makeup Academy um, all over shadow brush. And this is just to help me lay the shadows down on top of it and blend them out a lot more smoothly. Otherwise, my shadow is going to skip and it's going to be tragic. It's hard to recover from that, y'all. I've had a lot of people ask me to do a makeup tutorial. More specifically, a fall one. So here I am. Oh my god. Here, I've never experienced this in my whole life, in my whole 38 years of living on Earth. I have an eyelash that's growing in weird, and my lashes clump so bad on this eye, I don't even know what to do about it. I have no idea. It's so weird. Dollar Tree find. One dollar. Um, but anyway, I struggle with my lashes. Um, so I'm going to be putting some falsies on today just because it's super weird. So, um, after I've got my base laid down for my eyeshadow, I like taping off the edges, but I'm not going to be doing that today because I don't know where my tape is for one. For two, I'll just clean it up since I'm doing my eyeshadow first. I'm going to go in with Modern Renaissance by Anastasia. This is probably my most loved palette since I bought it, as you can tell. I'm obsessed. So to do this burgundy kind of smoky eye situation, I'm going to mix Venetian Red and Love Letter a lot. But first I'm going to go in with a transition color. I'm going to go in with Golden Ochre, one of my favorites, favorite, favorite, favorite transitions. And to do that, I'm just going to go in with this. Let me clean it. I was in a panic, y'all. To do my makeup for my wedding yesterday, and I did not clean my brushes after because I was running late, let's be honest. Um, trying to get everything done, but we made it, and you know, all was right and well in the world. So, I'm going in with Golden Ochre with this um, Luxie 205 Tapered Blending Brush. Love it. I got this in a Ipsy a while back when I was still... Um, subscribe to Ipsy. They were good there for a while, and in my experience, they started getting kind of terrible, to be honest. I mean, I hate to say that, but I mean, if I don't want to spend $10 on makeup products, you know something's wrong. And I didn't. <laughs> but now I see that Ipsy's got this, like, Ipsy Plus or something, I don't know where it's like 20 or $25 and you can get like full size products. And they would send sample size, but they were all like deluxe samples before. And then it got to where you would get a lot of foil packets. And I'm like, I'm not spending $10 on anything that I can get probably in an ad in a magazine, a full packet. I mean, let's be real. That $10 could buy me a new mascara or something. I don't know what the deal is with these lashes. These are mine. <laughs> Obby. But I'm just going in. First I'm starting out with like a windshield wiper motion. And then I'm just going in circles just to blend that out. And I've got such weird darkness in certain areas like that no concealer will ever cover up probably. Um, so sometimes it looks odd, like right here, when I'm looking this way, you can see that shadow right there. Looking this way, it's pretty blended out. It's just, you know, my I got aging eyelids and lots of, lots and lots and lots of thin, veiny situations going on in my eyes. Oh, man. Somebody asked, oh, I'm still got primer on my nose where my nose ring was. Somebody asked how in the world did I do my makeup with my nose ring in. I used to, when I did, when I used a stud, when I used to wear a stud most of the time, I always took it out. 
But now it's so hard to get back in because you have to put these things in backwards. And that's rough. So to save myself the frustration, I usually, look, I'm just blowing this out. It's going to look like I'm a crazy person for a while. Blowing out this shadow. I got such bad freckles. But anyway, um, to save myself the frustration, I just don't take it off. And then I'll clean the makeup off of it to be real. It's awful. And this little brush that they give you with the Anastasia palette is awesome. I use it so much. Let me go ahead and do this. Um, I like to moisturize my lips when I get started. And I've just been yakking away and didn't do that. My lips get so dry in the fall and winter, and even some in the spring. And I need to expel exfoliate them. I've not done that in a while. And to exfoliate it, lay them, I like, I can't even talk. To exfoliate them, I like the e.l.f. Um, lip treatment exfoliator. The mint or the sugar, it doesn't matter. Um, for the price, you can't beat it. I like them very well. So next up, I'm going to go in with this. Let's see, what have I got here? Um, my MAC 217 brush. I'm gonna go hitting the camera again. So sorry. Clean it off. Let's see, what do I want to go in with next? Okay. Um, I'm gonna go in with mostly the Venetian red, but I'm gonna put a little bit of love letter in it just to make it like a burgundy color. <sighs> I just saw. Shayla do a tutorial on the Naked Cherry palette. Yeah, I would love to have that. But they're all like the same tone. It's not, I mean, there's different shades of, of the color or whatever, of the colors, but they're all like the same tone. And I just don't, like this, you got a little bit of everything. You're all over the place. I mean, you, they coordinate well together, yes. But they're not all the same tone. And this one, this is one of my favorite colors. And it's got like... And it's super pigmented and I love it in the fall and I love to mix it with the cypress cypress umber and that's I guess real gar anyway such a pretty color and I've got it all over me it's good I have no wake up make wake up makeup wipes with me either so I'm gonna go in with this dirty <laughs> Mac 217 brush and with the Venetian red I'm just gonna go in and start blowing it out and we'll tap it into some love later to give it that pinky tone. Don't be alarmed. I will try my best to pull it all together at the end, I swear. So really I just go up in my crease, right um, underneath and a little bit on that um, golden ochre that I used, and the reason is because I like that gradient blending, blended effect. I'll try not to hide what I'm doing. And I don't have very good lighting, um, so I've just got the blinds open by our patio doors, um, hoping that the sun don't let me down today. And this MAC 217 brush, you can do your whole eye look with it, to be honest. It's awesome. My husband is now sending me Snapchats. <laughs> and I can't check them. <laughs> oh, yeah. I got married, which I was talking about my wedding earlier in the video, in this tutorial. I got married yesterday. Don't worry, I'm going to go back in and blend that out, swear. We decided to go to the courthouse, and it was probably one of the sweetest things ever. Unintentionally. I mean, you know, it just turned out that way. <laughs> so, see, it's like a burgundy maroon color that I'm working with with a little spice. From that Venetian red, which I love. I'm just going to go back in with just that. And drop it down just a little bit. To keep that deepness of the red. And it's going to look kind of maroony. I love a good um, satin finish. These are all 
mattes that I've used, used so far. I love a good shimmer and a satin finish eyeshadow um, look, especially in the fall. Um, I know that sounds crazy because a lot of people do that in the summer. And I do too, but with lighter colors. I'm talking I like satin finish from like, um, I don't know, um, the darker browns and burgundies and orangey fall colors. I love it. So good. I'm trying to find me a good blending brush. Okay, yeah. I'm going to go back in with the Sigma E38 Diffuse Crease Brush. Um, there, just so I can blend out um, that red and pink color in with the just going up here with a clean brush. Trying to make it blendy at the top. Blendy is that a word? No. And see, this is a weird shape I've got. I don't know. That totally is just, it, it, screw, I don't know. Like, my eyeshadow is never pretty there. And I always have to go back in and, like, correct it with lighter shadows because of the way it does. Like, it completely throws it off my whole look but so far I'm loving it and you noticed I kept the inner I don't know third maybe pretty clear because I got plans for that as well let me go in I'm gonna go ahead and do the brow bone, brow bone highlight I can't find my brow bone highlight brush, Sigma. So I think it's upstairs. So I'm just gonna go in with this Morphe big giant brush. This thing is good for everything. It's for, good for the brow bone. It's good for sitting under the eyes, like concealer and stuff. And for my brow bone highlight, I'm gonna use this tempura color, tempera, whatever. And I'm just taking it directly under my brow bone or on my brow bone right directly under my brow yeah and this is where I'm gonna have to correct that stupid shadow because it's insane I don't care what colors I do it always gets like that and I used to be like super careful and, and I finally decided it doesn't matter it's not gonna matter because um, it's still gonna do that so I'm just gonna go back in with this clean blended brush diffuse crease which really d does diffuse the crease and makes it that pretty gradient that everybody likes and as you can tell it looks like this eye has got more product on it so I'm just gonna go back in with that Pretty red and take it a little higher and moon our cat Jaden's cat's going crazy right now she's jumping on the back of the chair and everything else all right and for that I just used that same Anastasia brush that came with the palette alrighty Next, I'm going to switch it up just a little bit. I'm going to go jump out of the Anastasia palette. Right click and I'm going to go into the Where the Light Is. The, I think this was like Kathleen Light's first um, collab for eyeshadow. I think she done like lipstick maybe before this. But this is for, with ColourPop Where the Light Is. And I'm going to go in and I'm going to pull out... These are so pretty, by the way. These shadows. But a word of advice. I got this when they first came out. You need to keep them closed tightly. Because they are so creamy, they will dry out. I'm going to go in with the, the color Kathleen Lots. I love this bronzy, beautiful fall shade. I almost knocked y'all over. I really don't have any room. Zero room do I have. And then... Let me go ahead... And these shadows work work best with your finger. Um, I don't really, I've never found a brush that they work really well with, as well as the finger anyway. And they're just super, I don't know if you can see this, but like you can, you see how creamy they are? They just press right in. 
to the skin and you just go in them with your finger. Um, I'm just going to go in my, on the lid. with this beautiful shadow. I'm taking all over the bottom portion of the lid and it does build up by the way. I've got some fallout because I just do. So I'm just tapping that shadow right into the lid. And ColourPop is awesome because they're like super cheap. Their shadows are like five bucks. I've not done a quilt color pop order in a minute though. So first I just like to lay that shadow down and then I'll go back in with more product on my finger and tap it in. All over the lid, even in that outer third, which just cause I need it to be super blended. Hit this lid a little bit more right there. <laughs> I'm getting makeup all over me, y'all. I did not bring a baby wipe, a makeup wipe, nothing. All right, next I want to go in with. I don't want to keep taking from so many palettes. So you know what, I'm just going to jump back into the Modern Renaissance palette. And I'm going to grab some of that Cypress Umber. And I'm just going to put that in on the outer third. And to do that, I'm going to be using this Sigma E48 pointed crease brush. It looks kind of scary when you first look at it. But it's perfect for laying down color just in that crease. I love this brush. So I'm just tapping in just a little bit because this shadow is super pigmented, super soft, a little bit powdery, but the payoff is awesome. You see that already? And I'm just keeping that in the outer part of the crease and bring it down on the lid just a little bit. I look insane. I look a crazy person right now, but I promise this lid will pull together very shortly. Product on my brush that first time on this eye. I love it. I love this point and crease brush. You know, it kind of, and this color, oh, I love it so much. So I'm going to go back in with that blending brush and just going to hit the edges where that brown meets the burgundy maroon shades. I don't know why that looks like that on camera because it's not, it's super blended in person. So I'm just blending all those colors together. All right, looks good for now anyway. Hey Moon, she's literally wild right now. All right, so next, what I like to do is go in with my foundation. A lot of people will finish their eyes, and sometimes I do too, but right now I just want to go in with my um, beauty sponge. I'm not going to be using my beauty blender just because I didn't I didn't wet it. I wet it with Max Fi Mac Fix Plus just for my eyes, but I've got my Real Technique sponge 
um, it looks dirt. It was clean, then I used it yesterday for wedding makeup. So I'm just gonna go in with that. First, I'm gonna figure out what kind of foundation I'm gonna use. I've been loving, I've been trying to use up my NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation. <laughs> it gets beat up in my makeup bag. But um, my skin is so dry right now. I've been loving this Neutrogena Hydro Boost um, Hydrating Tint. It says it's a tint, but I'm telling you, it's got a lot more coverage than a tint. It's got hyaluronic acid, moisturizes, and plumps skin for 24 hours. And I'm using the shade Nude 40. So if you're super pale like Casper, Nude 40. That's my shade. And my brush, as soon as I bought this, this is my second bottle of this. It, it, you see how wobbly it is? See how it moves? It's not supposed to do that. I should have took it back, but I was so much into this foundation, I was like, no, nah, I'm gonna take the time to do that. I'll still use it. I even thought about switching out the brushes, which I should have before I threw away the old bottle. But you know, didn't use my brain at all. So I like to go down my nose. This makes it difficult, this broken brush. Anyway, cross my chin. I have to put, use quite a bit of this um, just to cover up these freckles. Um, I was blessed with the freckles. So I'm going to go back in. I'm going to spray my, even though it's damp, I'm going to spray it with some Max Fix Plus. Mac Fix Plus. Let me grab my mirror so I can see what I'm doing. I'm just going to tap this into the skin. I'm not rubbing. As you can tell, I'm just tapping. Tap, tap, tap. I'll take it down the left one. Oh, we'll rub right through there to clean that up. But most of the cleaning up will be with my concealer. And I like this foundation because it's buildable. You can layer it and it gets, you get even better coverage with it, which I like, especially when you got so many freckles like myself. Comes in handy. But, gotta get in there good. It just evens out my skin tone. Uh, any kind of hyperpigmentation that I'm dealing with or anything like that. So good about that. Plus, it's very hydrating. Even though I have oily skin. That CoverGirl. I like the, the Wet n Wild matte one too. That CoverGirl um, Oily Skin Primer is really good about combating that. And um, the Wet n Wild, I went through two of those. And I got another one that I need to... Use. I was trying to use up the CoverGirl one because I'm so bad about getting so excited when I get a new product. I'm just going to put some more on my cheeks um, that I won't use up the, all the old product. And then I've got all this open makeup stuff around for no good reason. So I'm trying to use up some stuff before I either buy new or get open up new packages of stuff I already have. My eyes underneath some circles going on I stayed up late last night we watched A Wrinkle in Time is now on Netflix so I hadn't seen it I still fell asleep during it even though it was a great movie what I saw it I need to finish that at some point but anyway we stayed up pretty late and I don't stay up late I like my sleep Okay. Now I will rub this into my neckline, and that's not all I'll do to make sure I don't have a big makeup line. Those are so mm, 1992. When I was 12 years old, and I didn't know a thing about makeup. What kind of concealer I'm going to use? I love the Maybelline Fit Me concealer, but I also love. 
the concealer I've been using. And I've got the Tarte Shape Tape. Um, look how wide that is. This is more for like, it's in the shade Fair, which I need a darker shade, which is absolutely insane to me. I'm just going to go back in with that Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser Dark Circle Treatment Concealer in the color Fair. It says it's got Goji Berry and Haloxol in it. It's got something in it because I love it. And I've been using it, like I've probably used seven or eight of these in the last few, like five years or so. And see, I'm cleaning up that eye look. I like to go down the sides of my nose. Up. And then a little bit under the eye. I'll do a little bit on the nose. Right here. Cupid's bow. And then I got some big pores down here, y'all. So I like to try to conceal those as best I can. Sometimes I can, sometimes I can't. So I'm going to take this uh, Real Techniques sponge and just flip it over this side that I've already used. I did not use that side. I'm just going to go in and just pat this in place, really. I'll be careful. I usually mess up right here uh, if I go too fast and don't pay attention to what I'm doing. I'm trying to do that gradient seamlessly blend this concealer, I'll like take it up there, this concealer in with my foundation. See that big blot? I'm gonna blend it out. When in doubt, blend it out. <laughs> I wish I had some kind of music on. To play any though. I love my faces I make. I got some kind of piece of fuzz on here. Um, because this video is, of course, going to go on YouTube. What is that? I don't even know. It's just like a spot of super bad hyperpigmentation I've got going on and it looks like I still need to blend right through there which I'll hit it again in a minute all right next up I'm going to go in with my um MAC Studio Fix Powder in the shade NC20 because I am Casper and it's about time, I've hit pan a lot, so it's about time for me to, I got black glitter on me, probably from my earring. About time for me to go back in, uh, like I said, and hit the mat counter up, I need some things. Jaden and I were looking at brushes earlier today. Oh, here it is. I've been using this, it came with the powder highlighter, but this is the It Cosmetics. Just look at this brush, like, seriously, best brush ever. They are worth the price, but I got mine free with product on QVC. Fun fact, QVC sells Tarte, they sell uh, Laura Geller, they sell, so I'm sitting in, a, sitting in my under eyes, they sell It Cosmetics, they sell all kinds of beauty brands, and a, a lot of the time you can get like a free brush with the product. And it's the same price as just the product. Of course, I'm going to get the one with a brush. Especially when they're like $44 or something ridiculous. That I would never spend on a brush. A brush kit, maybe. But not a single brush. And this is where I'm going to blend this out to where it's kind of like a... You won't be able to see it as much, which I'll be needing this again when I do the contouring around which I'm going back in with right now. I've got my um, my Celebration Kick Up Your Cheeks blush kit. And yesterday I used the, the Hula Bronzer. It's a little bit lighter than my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil. Okay, it's a lot lighter. But anyway, um, 
I'm going to contour with this and I might go a little bronzy with the um, the Dallas blush that's in this palette. Um, so for my for contouring, if I'm not doing a cream contour, if I'm just doing a powder contour, I just go in with this cheap Morphe brush. don't even have their name on it, but it's Morphe. And I'm just going to pick up some of this product. And because I'm so fair, this product gets very muddy on me because it's the medium deep matte bronzer. And I found my TJ Maxx. I can't believe I got lucky and got my TJ Maxx because I'm never able to find anything there. So I'm going to start here. If you've never bronzed before, you're going to start at the top of your cheek or top of your ear here where the ear meets the skin. And you're going to follow that line. You see how mine kind of sinks, sinks in under my cheekbone. And what I'm doing is carving out those cheekbones, putting some dimension back in my face. And because I'm freckly and all that good stuff, like I said, it's real hard for me not to get muddy. And I have to be really careful with that. Um, no matter what bronzer it is, no matter the tone, the shade, whatever, I get muddy if I don't. Be careful. If I'm really doing like a heavy makeup, I will cover that scar up. And, well, I won't use the Neutrogena Hydro Boost either. Even though I love the coverage. And I didn't take my foundation all the way to my hairline just because I'm blonde and foundation mixed in hair is never good. Well, whether you're blonde, brunette, whatever, it's not good. So what I do is I blend some of that bronzer into my hairline and blend that foundation. It looks like I'm being super aggressive. That's because I am. <laughs> A little bit underneath my chin. Right here. Carve that cheekbone out. And really, I'm just laying that product down. I'm going to go back in with my It Cosmetics brush. No more product. I'm just going to blend the bejesus out of my neckline. My skin has aged so much in the last couple of years. It's ridiculous. I mean, ridiculous. But, to be honest, I have been quite lax on my skincare routine um, just keeping it real. So I'm going to go in with this Dallas blush and I'm going to use it kind of as a bronzer and just kind of put it, blow it out more on top of that contour, to be honest. And this is a Real Techniques blush or brush. Real Techniques make some really good brushes. But it's something I don't need any more of right now. I wouldn't mind having a new Max 217, but mine is so far is still holding up good. And I am going to go in, I'm not gonna use any of these blushes, I don't think, for blush anyway. I'm gonna go in with Max Warm Soul. Um, one of my favorite, it's one of the um, mineralized blushes. It's one of my favorite colors. This color right here looks good on everybody. It looks like it's nothing. It looks stupid in the pan, but it's, oh my God. I'm gonna clean this brush, blush brush off a little bit with this color cleaner. My dog's over here going crazy. And it looks like I don't have any eyebrows because I don't. I'm gonna go in with this warm soul just on the apples of my cheek. Pull in that Dallas and just blend it together. I'm not a 
afraid of blush. I don't care um, what kind of brush blush I use. It always fades on me anyway within a few, like an hour or two. I don't care what kind, what brand. It doesn't matter. It's going to fade on me. I've got some of the 12-hour blushes by Tarte. It don't matter. It matters not. So, then I'm going to go in with this golden to keep it kind of, um, the colors kind of, you know, seeming, seamless. What am I trying to say? Anyway, because I got gold on my eyes, I'm going to put gold on my cheeks. This is the Hummingbird Hot Baked Blush by Wet n Wild. And oh my god, it's such a pretty highlight. Wet n Wild has some awesome. Look at this. Do you see that? Bam! So I'm just going to put that right here since I already got it on my finger. Waste not, want not. Alright, then I'm going to go in with this It Cosmetics brush I got with like their anti-aging serum, serum primer, primer serum, whatever. I used up forever ago and I never did use the brush with it because it was it didn't apply right. I was like, are you serious? And this brush with that, it's like a serum, oily serum, which I love the product, don't get me wrong. The only thing is about this highlighter and 99.9% .9 of the highlighters I've ever used in my whole life, they accentuate texture. Like right here, do you see that? See that texture? But I don't mind it too, too much since I'm 38. I'm gonna have some texture. Whoa, whoa girl. And I just like to go in with what's left on the brush up there and kind of make like a C. Just where the sun will hit me naturally. And then I'll touch it there, maybe through here. Just give it some of that glow. And then I'm gonna go in with this MUA 311 <laughs> Smudge Detailer Brush. The cat and the dog are killing each other. Jaden's uh, over here cracking up. She's been such a good girl. She's not said anything. So I'm gonna put this in the inner corner of my eye. Just cause I like to use products for multiple purposes. And then I'm going to go ahead and, let's see, I probably should wet this with some Max, Mac Fix Plus. No, it don't need wet, it's mine. Bam! So I'm going to use this same smudge detailer brush, I'm going to clean it off from MUA. Quit destroying my new furniture, moon, little moon pie. I'm going to go in with this. Venetian red first in the underneath my eye. Where is my brush? My brush. My mirror. And I'm laying that just as close as I can get to the bottom lashes. And I'm only using the Venetian red. The neighbor's dog is going crazy, so that means Boston thinks she has to go crazy too. So I'm just bringing this down, kind of blowing it out underneath my waterline. And then I'm going to go in with that cypress umber, that dark, beautiful, rich brown. The same brush. And go even closer my lashes just on this outer part here I'm not gonna bring it all the way in this time I'm just deepen that up come in a little closer okay Boston is that necessary yeah it is Then with the eyelash, um, the eyelash, the um, eyeshadow palette. Okay, I had to put it on pause because Boston decided to throw a fit. 
I'm getting ready to do my eyebrows, which makes me really nervous to do them on camera, but I'm using the Wet n Wild Ultimate Brow Retractable Brow Pencil in the color taupe. Love this stuff. I like it just as well as I like Anastasia or NYX brow, uh, mini brow pencil or the brow is, whatever. As you can see, it's got this weird angled shaped product here. And then of course it's got a really dirty, dirty spoolie on this end, which is because I use it so much. So I'm just going to start by spooling my eyebrows. I'm telling you, this makes me nervous. It takes me a while sometimes to get these right. So I'm just going to outline my brows. Probably won't be able to talk much. Um, while I'm doing this. Especially since there's a cat hanging off my leg. There was. Just following the natural shape of my brows. And then I'm just going to go in the front here and fill in some where they're sparse. Going to go on the bottom. Okay, and then I'm going to spoolie the product through. Maybe. We'll see. I'm going to go over here. This brow right here gives me all kinds of trouble. Always. Always gives me trouble. You remember your brows? Don't need to be twins, just sisters. So they don't have to be identical. If you can get your brows identical, you're better than I am. This is something I struggle with all the time. See that? I got like a super abundance of brows right there and they lay so weird. And then I have none anywhere else. It's crazy. So, I'm going to go in with the Benefit Gimme Brow. Because I got brows that go everywhere. And they drive me nuts. Let's see if I can find it. So, I got the Benefit Gimme Brow in... What color is you? Does it even say? It's like the, the lightest shade, obviously. Whatever that is. Probably worn it off. Brow Voluminizing Fiber Gel, if you're wondering what this is. It's got little fibers in it. Okay. So I'm just going to sweep this, especially through this brow right here. Gives me so many problems. I'm not taking the time to carve out my brows or anything like that with concealer. Because honestly, I'm just going to go to the Dollar Tree. Here in a minute. <laughs> That's it. You have to be careful of this because it will make your brows go super dark really quickly. This part right here always gives me trouble. <clears throat> Whoops, there went my setting spray. I'm going to let that gel dry and then I'm going to come back and fill that brow in with some brow powder. Next, I'm going to go in with the Flower um, Beauty Brownstone um, Longwear Eyeliner. This stuff is great. You can get it at Walmart. 
Drew knows what's up. And I'm just going to put that in the waterline. I don't do a lot of eyeliner in the waterline, but this stays pretty good. I used to only wear nude in my waterline, nude eyeliner. Just makes your eyes look so much brighter and things like that. So next I'm gonna go in with my um, knock over everything. I'm going to go in with my L'Oreal Telescopic Carbon, Carbon Black Mascara. I'm just going to do a really quick coat. But before that, I'm going to just go in with the Milani Make It Last Setting Spray. Good stuff. I'm going to have to read up on that here real soon. I still need to fix that brow. I will. Mmm. You know what? I skipped a step. Before my mascara, I'm going to go in with the L'Oreal Voluminous Liner Noir um, Eyeliner. And just do a little small little wing here. I always like to do my setting spray before. Before I do my mascara and my liner, just because it might, takes it forever to dry otherwise. And then this other side. Oh, I hate when my liner skin. I need to get some more of this. I also like the NYX ink eyeliner. I like it as good, almost as good as I like the Kat Von D tattoo liner in Trooper. Just her black shade. Okay, let's see. It's good as it's gonna get today, y'all. My eyeliner's drying out. Now I'm gonna do my mascara. I'm just doing a really, really, really thin coat. Cause I'm gonna put on some lashes. Maybe. I'm just going to do the top lashes for now. And I'm just doing this. I got mascara right here. Let it dry. And I'll flake it off usually. Never fails though. I'm doing the outside lashes, the outer lashes or the inner corner lashes never fails I get mascara somewhere okay so I got half a coat of mascara on my lashes I'm gonna go in with the kiss 11 um, lashes number 11 and I'm gonna use the pair that I'll used yesterday because you can use these over and over again until you can't. <laughs> if you keep them clean though, for real, you can get probably eight to ten uses out of them. They're pretty good lashes. I like the Ardell Demi Wispies and I've got some somewhere upstairs, but these are what I have with me right now. I'm going to go in with the Duo. I used the black glue yesterday and today I'm using the, the glue that dries clear.
And I'm real nervous also about doing these on camera because it's lashes. And no matter how long you put them on, how long you've been using them, never fails, they're going to give you some kind of issue. Or at least they do me. So I wave them around for like 15 seconds. And then I go in. I don't ever have to cut my lashes. But I start at the outer corner. The base. And then I bring it in. I also have um, like the applicator thingies. But they're upstairs. So I'm going to kick it old school with my fingers. And you take it just as close to the base of your natural lashes that you can. And just let that dry for a second. You want that glue to get tacky. I'm not sure I waved mine around enough on that one. So I'm gonna go back in with my second lash. See how wispy they are? I love these lashes. My lashes are pretty long anyway, but man, this gives them the volume and the length. They're such pretty lashes. I want to try the blow. I have tried the blown out lashes, but I can't remember which um, the kiss blown out or whatever. It's got like a blow dryer on them. I can't remember the style I used it was when they very first came out. I like those too. I like anything with a really thin band. Um, it's easy to work with. Um, when you first get lashes out, you want to like move them around and try to get them out of that shape they hold on the package and that way they're more pliable and easier to work with um at least that's what i do i just paused just a second ago and plugged my phone in my wonderful daughter went upstairs and got the charger that's supposed to be downstairs so i have two i don't know why it was upstairs but it was oh yeah i forgot about that little dot of mascara Try to sit on my lash. <laughs> Be careful about getting glue on your fingers because you'll pull your lash off every single time. Every single time. I'm just moving those around and with that clear glue. You can move it around until it dries, pretty much. You can just move it around to make sure it's in a, a good place on your eye. And where this one's pretty much dry, I like to go make sure that it is secure. It's still a little bit tacky, but yeah, it's super secure. And then... As this one dries, I'm going to go ahead and try to get this off my Oh, it's very thin, so it's not going to flake off. Oh, wait. Yeah, it did. Okay. All right. Last but not least is lips. And I'm just going to keep it really simple. With my lips, I'm going to go in with that... Um, Actually, the same sh same lipstick I wore yesterday, which is just one of the Color Reach balms uh, by L'Oreal. Again, it's a sp no. In the shade eight eighteen, nourishing nude. I love this stuff. Love love these balms. They're so hydrating. And I'm not even gonna. I broke it. I'm not even gonna use a lip liner just because. Quick tip. If you want your lips to feel uh, appear more plump, um, if you do use liner, 
which I do a lot. What is this? Huh. Blanked it. I'm telling you, my lips are so yeah, it's super dry. What you can do is just lightly go over your Cupid's bow with your it works best if you use liner. And not make your cubis bow so sharp. I gotta get my tweezers and get that. It's gonna drive me crazy. Not make your cubis bow so sharp, and it makes your lips appear like more plump and juicier and thicker. And where is it at? I don't know. It's the lipstick's already got it super hydrated. So anyway, this is my final look. I'm just going to fix this crazy mop on my head and I will be right back. All right guys, I'm back. I just took my hair down and kind of just fluffed it up. I'm gonna I might do something to it. I might not. I don't know. But this is the final look. Um, my burgundy um, fall makeup tutorial. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button if you like what you see. If you got any suggestions or anything like that, let me know. Um, so yeah, hope you all have a good weekend.